7.4 example two is very similar to what I showed you in example one. I am not going to show you any other strategies um, other than what I showed you. I just really feel like what I showed you is the easiest way to get there. Um, I promised you extra credit, so I'm going to circle the ones I want you to do for extra credit for me. I'll give one point for each of these. I'm going to show you letter B. You guys do um, A, C, D, and E. And I'll give you a point for each one. I'm sure you're going to do a great job. Let me show you B. Uh, B, we have coefficient out in front. So remember, 5 times 8 is positive 40. So I need factors of 40 that add up to be negative 14. So I'm going to need some negative factors here because my middle term is negative. So if you have a negative sign anywhere in there, you're going to have to use some negatives. So we've got 1 times 40, negative 1 times negative 40. 2 times 20, negative 2 times positive 20, or negative 20. 3 doesn't work. Uh, 4 times 10, negative 4 times negative 10. 5 times 8, negative 5 times negative 8. 6 doesn't work, 7 doesn't work, and we're back to 8 again. We, we are repeating now. Guys, only one of those adds up to be negative 14. And hopefully you are looking at this set right here. Negative 4 plus negative 10. There's your negative 14. So we're going to rewrite it. So drop down 5x squared. We're going to rename negative 14x as negative 4x and negative 10x. And then we're going to drop down our 8. Okay? We're going to factor by grouping. So we're going to take out an x. That's going to leave us with 5x minus 4. Here, oh, I got a leading negative sign, okay? Remember, go ahead and just pull out a negative number. So let's pull out a negative 2. That's going to leave behind a positive 5x uh, minus 4. Yeah. All right, and if you're not sure why that is, just redistribute it and you'll see the signs. Negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. So if you're just like, I'm not sure how she did that. Anytime you pull out a negative number, the signs left behind are going to change. Whatever it was originally up here, see, become opposite signs down here in the quantity. That happens every time. All right, so we have common binomials, so we're going to pull that out, 5x minus 4, and then we're going to write whatever's left behind, and we're going to put it right there. And there you go. So I'm going to give you, uh, letter D is just like the one I showed you. A, C, and E are all like the, all the positive ones I did in example one. So give it your best shot. I bet you're going to do a great job and bring me some questions tomorrow.